Ocean air conditioning on overdrive. You got mm -hmm. the fog, the drizzle at times for the morning hours. Today, though, likely the coolest day of the week. We'll begin to see temperatures rebound starting tomorrow. And I think by midweek, some valley locations will see those highs approaching the mid and upper 80s as we begin to see another midweek warm up on the way. As we take you outside right now, San Jose pretty comfortable, 71 degrees. There's a breeze out of the northwest at 12 miles per hour. And as you head inland, here is where we saw the biggest temperature drop of the day. Now, yesterday we had low 80s around Concord and Walnut Creek. Right now, more comfortable 75 degrees, 5 degrees cooler than the same time yesterday. And there's a look at the low clouds that Terry drove through earlier today. 63 right now at SFO. Winds out of the northwest at 18. And the clouds really filling in now around San Francisco. 56 in the wind out of the west at 14 miles per hour. So the low clouds going for a ride. They'll head inland towards those East Bay Valleys and the Carquina straight for the morning, but bigger clouds to the east. These are Sierra thunderstorms, mostly south of Highway 50. The satellite radar view shows you the tremendous number of lightning strikes and hail generated by these storms. Now over the next two afternoons, we'll see this drift westward, but it doesn't look like it's going to hold together long enough to bring in these showers out towards Stockton and Modesto. So there's today, then watch as we move forward through tomorrow. There go the storms again, building up, drifting westward, but at times it's bringing us some high clouds. So right now, no shower chances associated with those Sierra storms. However, you may have drizzle again for the morning commute. You can see all the low clouds inland for the morning and then mostly sunny skies as we head towards the afternoon tomorrow and inland temperatures trying to warm up once we get out of these low 50s for the morning. Lunchtime temperatures with sunshine inland looking pretty good. Mid 70s around San Jose still hanging on to 60s closer to San Francisco and San Mateo now getting closer to 80 degrees tomorrow in Fairfield, but moving forward Wednesday and Thursday. Likely to be the warmest days of the week, as you can see here out towards Vacaville, upper 80s as we get into Wednesday and Thursday, San Jose, low 80s and a bit warmer Bay side from San Francisco to Oakland. You'll see temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Then if you look closely, a little bit of cooling there Friday as the sea breeze picks up and then perhaps some bigger changes as we head towards the weekend in terms of cooling and clouds, but maybe not so much in the way of showers. So right now, good news for those outdoor plans this weekend. You can see that cutoff low to the south. That's going to bring in extra coastal clouds and at times might fire up a few more Sierra thunderstorms. So as that pattern evolves as we go through the weekend right now, just looks like coastal drizzle. There is the leading chance for seeing any rain as we head towards next weekend, though we will begin to see temperatures cooling down as we head towards next Saturday and Sunday. It was a gorgeous weekend this past weekend. Looks like we'll go two for two. And that seven day forecast warmest days of the week, Wednesday and Thursday. Pretty nice for those outdoor plans and uh, comfortably cooler as we head into the weekend. If a few extra clouds Saturday and Sunday. Beautiful.